Hi, I'm here with Chris Murray. And tell us about, about yourself. You have a solo project going on right now? Yeah, what I'm doing right now mostly is I play solo. I play acoustic guitar and sing mostly my own songs, but some old Jamaican classics as well. So you mostly play ska music. It's, I'm guessing that's your favorite? Yeah, I play a mix of ska, reggae, and rocksteady, but of course reggae and rocksteady come from ska, so it's all ska connected one way or another. Now, do you find ska just more fun to play? Is there anything particular about it that you like? or? I love the energy of it, and the rhythm really gets me right away. I've been a fan since Two-Tone, and never stopped being into it, so just really a big fan. Has there been anybody that influenced you, like anyone in particular that really got you into ska? Or the band that probably really got me into ska was The Specials. They were definitely my favorite band growing up. They had a really great sound, very tough sounding, excellent songs, a lot of energy. So you've recently picked up a band to back you up now. Right. So what's that like? Oh, it was great. I did a tour in Canada in October, and uh, we went from the West Coast up to Montreal and back in a month, and I uh, played a whole bunch of dates. I had drums, bass, and organ, and it was excellent. We went uh, as Chris Murray combo. Nice. Do you have any preference between playing with a full band or a solo act? Uh, I like both of them, each of them in a different way. I mean, uh, before I started playing solo, I was playing with King Apparatus for a long time. So at the time I started to play solo, it was really a nice change because I'd been working with this one band for a long time and you know, after that mm. change is always good. And now I like that I can do either because definitely there's advantages to both. Being a solo artist, it's a lot easier to get places and travel. So last year I was able to go to Alaska and Hawaii. Just, you know, with a band, sometimes it's not possible to go places like that. But of course, definitely playing with a band you get the full sonic full feel, feel of everything. it all. Yeah. Do you plan on doing anything more with the backup band, like maybe record an album or? Uh, well, we had a couple live uh, shows recorded on the tour, and uh, those recordings are coming down to me slowly. But uh, I heard one of them when I was in Canada. It sounded great, so I'm hoping that some of that stuff is uh, good enough to release. And uh, I'll probably be going up to Canada in the summer to do a festival in Victoria. They've got an annual festival up there. This will be the fourth one. And for that, I'll definitely be playing with the combo. And it's possible we'll put some other dates together around that. Are there any places that you prefer to play? Like any country, state? Um, there, I definitely love playing in New York and in Boston. Vancouver and Victoria are great. And around Southern California, there's a lot of really nice places to play, definitely. So you recently started up a little show at the Knitting Factory every Tuesday. That's right. What inspired you to do that? Well, I was offered to do a residency in the Alternate Lounge, which is the uh, small room in the Knitting Factory. And I thought, since I am on the road a fair bit, it's, uh, it would be hard to keep it going if I'm not going to be around all the time. So I teamed up with Brian Dixon from Agrolites. And so together we're presenting Blue Beat Lounge every Tuesday. And when I'm not in town, he'll totally be looking after things. And uh, while I'm here, I'll play every week and have at least one more act in the bill. And we wanted to put something together that people could show up regularly to because uh, there used to be a lot more regular ska shows than there are right now. And I think that really helped people feel like they belong to a scene. Mm -hmm. You know, something constant and consistent. And you get to see your friends and the, the people that are into the same thing with you. Yeah, again it's a really great place to hang out. Yeah, it reinforces what's friends. going on. And as well for a lot of bands, it's great to have an opportunity to play, especially on a Tuesday night, because mm -hmm. nobody has anything going on. So if there's something going on, you know, usually people are able to go. There you go. Well, thanks for your time. Do you have any last words for everybody up there? Well, um, I'm really looking forward to Scott Summit. I think that's going to be a great show. I can't wait to see all those bands. I think it's, I can't think of a bigger ska event ever I don't think that so. I know of. This one keeps getting bigger as it goes. Yeah, so that's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to that. Well, that'll do it. So let's watch some more videos right now. Yeah.